understanding the Watt Bike Performance Monitor. One of the standout features of the Watt Bike is the Performance Monitor, which gives you more feedback, information, statistics and analysis than anything else out there on the market. Despite that, it's very simple to use. If you have very little time, there really isn't much that you need to do to get started. Simply get on the Watt Bike, turn the computer on using this button, in the main menu select Just Ride, and then away you go. However, if you want to get the most out of your Watt Bike, you'll need to take a few minutes to set up the various features. So here's a step-by-step -step guide. The first step is to set up a user profile. This will store all of your workouts and data, including max minute power and your training zones. This is really useful if more than one person is going to be using the Watt Bike. From the home screen, use the arrow keys to select users and press enter. Here you can create your new profile as well as log in each time you use your Watt Bike. Now you've created your profile, you need to link your heart rate monitor. The Watt Bike links with Ant Plus heart rate monitors including Polar, Garmin, MyZone and Suunto. The first step is to put your heart rate monitor on, then select Heart Rate Belt from the home screen on the performance monitor. You'll see your heart rate appear. Simply highlight and select your belt. This is then stored in the memory, so you don't have to do this for every session. The Watt Bike links with a whole host of Ant Plus devices, so we've created a whole video dedicated to just this. You're ready to ride. You can simply select Just Ride to begin a session or build your own in the workouts area and save your favorites for later. Once you've selected your session and your riding, use the arrow keys to view all the different data available from your performance monitor. At the end of your workout, you'll get a summary of your session. This data is now stored in the performance monitor, which you can recall from the home screen at a later date. There's also a whole host of tests pre-loaded into the performance monitor, which you can use to establish your training zones and monitor your progress. Check out our other videos to find out more about testing on the Watt Bike. The last area to look at is in the settings. Here you can change the display units, add default user data and view your training zones. Click here to get more from your Watt Bike.